trying to sell uh, the uh, sell it as a service. Uh, the needless to say, not only personal information uh, is in danger um, because of those malicious compromise of uh, personal computers, but also government computers, enterprise networks uh, may also at risk. Um, a lot of the data exfiltrations, cyber espionage. Um, so today I'm going to talk about how I work on Android security. We look at Android phones and apps, but then there's a lot of technique also apply for other applications, other programs. And also, not just the personal, it's, it's not just only for personal privacy, because if you think about phone, how bad it could be. You know, you lost your phone, you, your, phone was your phone was damaged, uh, your uh, maybe phone number, contact information were lost, but it's not just because it's not just uh, uh, the, the threats. It's not just at uh, individual level. The phone could be connected to enterprise network, um, organization network. It could get access to more sensitive database and, uh, servers, so it could threaten a large scale um, infrastructure. And um, before we start to talk about my work, I want to. A quickly overview of all the available techniques for malware detection, alarm detection, um, signature-based scanning. Those are the um, commonly seen techniques where we have uh, uh, extracted signatures, unique strings from known malware, and we look for those strings in your hard disk uh, on the network. Symantec uh, has lots of tools. We have an expert uh, uh, here. Um, so another technique where we don't look at the code, we look at the behavior of the malware. 